with me through it all When I look back I can see your head You had your hand on me God was with me through it all When I look back I can see your head You had your plan for me Father leads you The Father helps you Say try and do this Or gives you uh, 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 like, like a sp is a spiritual father, he tells you what 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 you must do to avoid it, and you know, and and and, and then he he says, let of course you have to pray because even prayer and everything else is is like when when God says pray for one another. If I'm praying for you, that's a work as well. It's not just you know that's a work. If if anything we do if if i help the poor if i if i like jesus says who helped the 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 sick man on the road who was beaten up the, the foreigner so be that's that's he your neighbor so that means that's a work as well so he was doing work and and it is like we are in christ how do we people see us if we go in and fighting every day and swearing with our filthy mouth and then saying oh i'm a christian a follower of, Je uh, of jesus but how you swear all day no 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 repentance no boundaries you swear all day and you say i'm a follower of jesus so can jesus comes out of your mouth and then the swearing words come out uh, come out of your mouth the same way so is jesus equal to the swearing words mm -hmm. yeah and i have to say that's a work too, bro. So you believe that we're saved by our works? No, 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 no. See, saving, in the beginning, saving comes from, from repenting and Jesus coming in our heart, grace coming into our heart. When we repent, when, when we realize God exists, Jesus died for me, I, I, I feel sorry for my sins, I do repent, then the Holy Spirit comes in me, overshadows me, and then... I go and do good works through the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit helps me to do works through my love for God. Because what I'm doing here on 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 a clubhouse, through the love of God. Because God loves me, I love other people. I want to open the minds of other people. Yesterday I had atheists in here. I had other people, you know, even sometimes even putting me down. I don't care. That's for the Lord. So one day maybe the, 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 they meet somebody else just like me and they say, okay, I've done wrong. But I just pray for them, you know. But the thing is, we cannot keep something to ourselves and say, I'm saved now. I don't care for nobody else. That's what we do, what we do. And this is work as well. So it's not like I'm saving myself. I'm, I'm doing, but I'm saved already. But I have to keep up with it. Yes, I'm saying, yeah. So you say keep up. If what does it do? Like what does it affect our salvation? Well, do do, do the bad works affect, affect your your salvation? If you go killing and stealing, do they affect your salvation? I would say no. It, sep it, it separates your fellowship from God. But if I think if a true believer has a heart and they make that mistake, they're going to repent. So you're in fellowship with God, you can go kill, no, and no. then you're definitely forgiven because you're in fellowship with God? You lose that fellowship. You oh, you repent. lose it. You lose the fellowship until you repent. But your salvation, you won't lose your salvation. Now. Yeah, but the, so the thing is, it's difficult to know now because if the guy was crazy, God won't, ho won't hold him account. If he was out of his state, he wouldn't hold him account. So God knows everything on man's heart. So, but if he done it in purpose, and then he says, pre even previous, I'm a Christian. If I go and repent, God is going to forgive me. Or if I cheat on my wife, if I do anything. So th this is things in people's heart. So I'm a Christian. God is going to forgive me. Whatever, whatever I do at the back of my wife or at the back of my brother stealing or at the back of my neighbor uh, doing something, you know, in the backyard so if people go with the pre eminence or pre opposition that god is god is going to go forgive them later then I, I i don't think he's a christian bro well i think a christian if you're a christian there's no there's no there's no point in time that person wouldn't repent and that person would be sorrowful for the acts so yeah is that a repentance because you see if you go there i'm a christian i'm going to repent 
that's why I'm going to do it. That, 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 that's not a repentance. God, cool. God, God is going to hold you for that. I have a question. One Albanian. Second, bro. One, please, one second. I would say, um, I think a Christian should act like that because if God's, you know, changing your desires, it might happen by accident or I don't know how that can happen. If, if someone's intentionally saying, I'm going to do this because I can repent, I would already question their salvation because you, should, you shouldn't you shouldn't be able to do that but i think that's what i'm saying yeah, if no, it's a mistake mm -hmm. or if it's if you're de defending yourself you have no other choice that's the last result okay so it is was out of your hand or you know is a situation there but if you go like if you travel two miles with a knife on on your hand and then you're going to take a revenge even if it's that the revenge who killed uh, God forbid who killed some of uh, my off my family I'm gonna take revenge that's that's that, that's in purpose isn't it yeah I have another question but I don't know if you want to put the yeah, other sure. guy on you can put the other guy on if you want okay Not okay if you have time to wait yeah yeah I'll wait I'll be, I'll be here for a little bit cheers bro thank you hello Madi Mehdi hello yeah just just very quick questions i'm still at work and i'm just you know you guys mentioned a lot of incorrect stuff about you know salvations and all that a lot of people know for a fact that there's no salvations within the christianity whether they get baptized or you know somebody what, dies for question? their sins or anything what, what is your question bro? so if you guys try and explain anything to other people you know what i mean there is, is no your question bro what is your question? okay there is no question but i'm just trying to make comments about what you guys do hello sister matilda how are you i'm good hello after a long time yeah welcome 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 uh, I'm, sorry I'm Maddie, I'm Maddie, Maddie, Maddie. Maddie, just He's raising hand yeah stay it's, no 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 he can stay down and 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 listen because oh, we don't want to be taught you're supposed to ask a question and then listen yeah go, go on brother uh, ryan okay um so how how do you feel about the verse where it says because there's a couple of verses if someone says why do you believe in once saved always saved which i say like it doesn't mean you can go do what you want to do if you're saved, God should be changing your desires and stuff. How did you feel about that? How would you respond to that, the, the John verse, John 10, where Jesus says, no one can snatch them out of my hand. So if God, John, you know. John 10, let, let, sorry, let, let me go there. I think it's I, I uh, just like to, 28, 28 to 30. Oh, 20, oh, oh that's, that's a beautiful one, bro. That's a beautiful one. I'll, I'll, uh, first, let, let me share a video for you because, yeah, I know that very verse and... Uh, it, there is a brother there is a brother who goes against james white uh, 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 just about that verse mm -hmm. and uh i'm just gonna find him in a minute and i'll share that with you but he, he can tell you exactly verse by verse how he bu butchers the how he butchers the uh, uh the bible uh no not this one John, do you say John, John 6? No, it's John 10. It should be John 10. I think it's 28 to 30. Oh, John 10. Okay, I'll, I'll go to John 10. Twenty-eight. Well, twenty-seven says, "My sheep hear my voice. I know them, and they follow me. I give them eternal life, and they." Oh, no, twenty-eight. It says, "I give them eternal life, and they never perish. No one will snatch them out of my hand. What my Father has given me is greater than else than all else, and no one can snatch it out of my the Father's hand." The father and I won. So what what does this mean to you? That if, you know, you're saved, then you go into Jesus' hand and nothing mm. will make you leave it. Nothing, no one can, the devil can't snatch you out. So if you're in there, you'll be there mm -hmm. at the end. So where, where does it say all who are there? What do you mean? Well, there should say all who are there. 
because James White it says, see, all who are there will go to, will go to Jesus. No, Father desires the salvation of every each one of us. So the one who goes to Jesus is being designated by the Father, is being sent by the Father. But it doesn't it doesn't mean everyone, all of them who are who are called by the Father to the Son, they come. Some of them is just like that parable of the of the king having having the wedding of his son and saying uh, one saying oh i ha making excuses right you know that verse uh, saying one one i have to sell my field another one i have to do this i'm busy so no well only few of them came and then and then and then the father says to 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 the steward because of the marriage of his son go outside in the road ask any beggar anybody outside there to come in because the, I've got empty seats and they were still not, not yet full. So that goes to show people are called, but it doesn't mean they all came. The, the question I heard, the twisting of the Bible, uh, let me find where, where they, they do this, is uh, these verses in a, a, and is another one which James White goes, uh, goes uh, to, yeah, it's Romans uh, 8, 29 to 30 as well Romans 8 29 to 30 where where I think is is in a similar context if I'm not wrong uh, I did that that one says nothing can separate us from the love of Christ nothing on earth are you there can you read that for us yeah let me pull it up real quick. Um, please thank you Um, okay, okay. It says, yep. Um, and we all know that for those who love God, all things work together for good. For those who are called according to its purpose. For those whom he foreknew, he also predestined to be conformed into the image of his son in order that he might be the firstborn among many brothers. And those whom he predestined, he also called. And those whom he called, he also justified. And those whom he justified, he also glorified. Exactly. So that's the verse goes hand to hand with the other one as well. And I, I, I can find that one as well. Uh, um, John 10, uh, 28, 29. Seems like the same <laughs> verses. But yeah, it's, it's like the father calls because the God, because James White, especially because he's a Calvinist, he says, he, he says uh, about we don't have free will. I don't know where you stand with it because I didn't ask you what, uh, mm -hmm. what uh, uh, you know, uh, what are you? But uh, 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 you know James White because he's a Calvinist. He said we don't have free will. See, the Father when he snatches us, some he leads us to heaven, some he leads to hell. So it's the f Father's doing, just like in Islamic terms. Yeah, I would say that whoever, because like the verse says, like whoever, if if you're. If he called you, and you come, he's going yeah, to. If I come, yes, of yeah. course. If I come, no one can snatch us. If I stay by Jesus, if I do good good works in Christ by in in love in Christ, I'll stay. But how how people know I'm I'm a Christian when we're sent forth from the church? The the priest says, "I bless him in the name of Father, Son, and Holy Spirit." And go and preach the gospel by your by your works by your deeds, because how how do you preach the gospel outside? You know, like uh, to take for instance, uh, uh, what was his name? Uh, uh, Fran uh, Saint Francis. Uh, Saint Francis. He went. He told his priest, "You have to go and preach the gospel today." And the priest says, "Okay." What should I do? He says, go around the town, walk around the town, and then come back. And he went and came back and he says, okay, what do you want me to do? That's it. So people can see you that you're a priest, or people can see you, you're, you know, you're a Christian, and, and, and like that. So preaching is a different way, but this is one, one of those ways where St. Francis chose choose to be just a, a, a servant and, uh, you know, to live as according to the Bible. Now, you know, the Bible says that you can be saved 
even if you have no works or if you don't have a lot of good works? Uh, I know, no, I, I know you, you cannot, yeah, did you say you cannot be saved or you can say, be saved? You will be saved. And, uh, it's in first Corinthians, first Corinthians three. What does that say? Sorry. First Corinthians, first Corinthians three, where it says, um, verse 11, you want me just to read it or you going to go there? No, no, I'm not there yet. I was because you're going, so I thought, okay. Oh. It's only one verse, right? Uh, it's like two verses. It's two eleven, okay. eleven to, fit, eleven to fifteen. Mhm. Mm Tell me when you're there. You got it. Did you say First Corinthians? Yeah, First Corinthians three, eleven to fifteen. Okay, I start from 10. According to the grace of God given to me, like a skilled master builder, I laid foundation and someone else is building on it. Each builder must choose with care how to build on it. 11. For no one can lay any foundation other than the one that has been laid. That foundation is Jesus Christ. Now, if anyone builds on the foundation with gold, silver, precious stones, wood, hay, straw, the work of each builder will become visible, for the day will disclose it, because it will be revealed with fire, and the fire will test what sort of work each has done. That, that, that actually helps my case until now. 14. If, if what has been built on the foundation survives, the builder will receive a reward. 15. If the work is burned up, the builder will suffer loss. The builder will be saved, by, but only as through fire. Mm -hmm. Wow. Thank you for that. So if you, don't have the, but if you don't have the works, your work should be burned up. You will suffer loss, but it says, though he himself will be saved. So you're saved, but all your works got burned up. So no, no. Could... no, 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 you, no, 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 no. Look. Did, did you did you did you notice the context? The context: those works are gonna be checked out. Where are they found? Where is the foundation yeah, on yeah. it? Yeah, so the foundation is the key. So the are they good works in Christ, or are they you know other works? Because well, no, no, they are no. different works. It's the foundation. Read verse eleven again. The foundation is Christ. You gotta have the right foundation. <laughs> Of course, in Christ, for no one can lay any foundation other than the one. Well, brother, the Bible doesn't contradict itself. It I was just, when, when you brought this verse up, I was just thinking about, I'm, I'm bad with verses, but I'm just going to quote it for you. When Jesus says, you will come to me in the last day and you will say, I, I even made, made uh, miracles in your name. I prophesied in your name. I done this and this in your name. And Jesus will tell us, I never knew you. Why did he do that? Because they didn't have the right foundation. Ah, and that goes very well with these very verses you just shared. Thank well, you for it's that. It's different because... Right? No, it's not different. It's the same Bible, bro. Well, the Bible doesn't know, contradict it's, it's itself. Different. It's different because this is talking to someone that's already saved. How does verse 15 read in, your, in the, the Bible you're reading? If the work is burned up, the builder will suffer loss. The builder will be saved by, but only as through fire. Exactly. So, you, that, that person, the builder is going to be saved. In the other verse, Jesus is dismissing them. They're not saved. This verse. But is you know, you you know where. Sorry, bro, to cut you off. No, no, you sorry. know where the the Catholic Church takes the book Purgatory. One of these verses is the one of them who 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 says at the end you will be saved by the purging of your works. So the purgation, the purging of your works, that's where the, the okay, purgatory God, comes bye. from. So why, why do I need to be purged of my works if my works are not the grounds for my salvation? You understand that? Yeah, be, because we've we done bad works and we've done good works. 
Okay. So I, I am in Christ, but probably I've done bad works and I've done good works. But I thought I'm doing good works in Christ, but maybe I've done bad works because of my thinking. Like so, some Protestants are doing now, they say, they say we don't have free will in, in Christ because we're like robots. And, and they say God sent people to hell and to heaven as he chooses. That's the wrong way to look to our God. I say I won't believe in that God when a brother shared with me a, a, a Calvinist. So I said to him, I will refuse that God because it's just like, like the God of Islam. So if can you read Romans eight one because for if you're in Christ, there's no condemnation. So there's no bad works. There's no good works. There's no Romans eight one. Eight one. Okay. So there's, there, there, there's no sense of purgatory if we don't if if God is not it holding is, up. It is, that, that's how the church understood, bro, from the beginning. I don't know. Um, so if God's not holding us against us. How can we be punished for something that is not I told you, uh, Romans 3, 1? No, no, 8, 1. Sorry. Uh, there, is, there is therefore now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. Who are in Christ Jesus. Mm -hmm. Yes, amen. So if you're in Christ, there's no condemnation. Yeah. So there's no record. No. There's no record of your sin. So how can, what am I going to be per, uh, punished for in purgatory if I have no record? No, 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 that, no, purgatory is not a condemnation. Purgatory, because nothing unholy will go to heaven. The Bible says nothing unholy will go to heaven. If, if the Bible says nothing unholy will go to heaven, there, with purgatory, there is more chances of more people going to heaven. If you don't have purgatory, zero people will go to heaven because we're not worthy to go to heaven. Purgatory helps people who lack or who are attached in this world, but yet they, they, they grew in Christ, in His fellowship, all their life, but still they have, uh, in their nature, they have sin attached to their uh, uh, going. But the purgatory is only way to, to heaven. Uh, whoever goes to hell, they don't go to purgatory. That's it. Hell is for them. But the, the one who goes to heaven, he has to go through a purging, uh, 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 as the verses before this says, you have to be purged for your works. So because of your works, some works will be burned up. Yeah, but that's, that happens. That's what it says, bro. We read it together. So and unless we, we want to make the Bible speak as we want it. But the Bible, how we speak it. the part that says where gold is refined by fire? Um, Oh, it was before this word, you listen? Yeah, but Wait. hold on. I forgot the verse. That uh, it refers to purgatory. Yeah, when the 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 the, the your 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 works will be purged in the last day, and mm -hmm. and and some of your works will be, uh, you know, uh, count for nothing, or I don't know how he puts it, but yeah. I'm just, uh, I, I, I lost the page. So what you're saying is when you die, you still got to account for some sins? If I'm, if I'm hearing you correctly. No, no account. You are, you are attached to this world, to this fleshly world. Like, uh, because like if, if, if the Bible says no, uh, n uh, mm, uh, no, no, Nothing unpure will go to heaven. Do you think uh, us we're pure? We're not pure, right? Yeah, the Bible says that. The Bible. Yeah. So the church understood the verses before this. You, we read uh, the church understood the verses as as purging of our our sins and and and, and pur purging of our works, our good works and bad works. So, so that's how it is. How can we not be pure and holy if that verse right there is telling you? There is no condemnation if you're in Christ. So if you're in Christ, you are always a hundred percent pure and holy. No, I'm not hundred percent pure and holy because I I, I I am in Christ, but you have to, you have to be hundred percent pure and holy. But only a hundred percent holy because we are in Christ. What is your view of what that word means? Condemnation. Condemned in hell. I'm gonna just look it up real quick to get the um, most accurate de definition. To be, that's that's to be condemned in hell. Let me see. 
What's but it? if you die in Christ, in, in his fellowship, Christ says, if you love me, do what I said to do. Why, why didn't he say, just believe in me and do nothing? And James says, don't, don't boast that you be said by faith alone, but by good works. So even James uh, goes with this verse as well. Which uh, I can different. see it. I don't know why can't other people see it. One second. So, I'm just trying to look up the word. That yeah, that that means that there's no there's no sentence, there's no damnation. So there's no a damnatory sentence. So there's no damnatory sentence because you are in Christ. So if, if the Bible's telling you, because it says in First Peter, God chose us to. Sorry, be Rashid, did you want to ask ask a question? Uh, did he go down himself? Until brother is back. Now, but did you meet me, or did I meet myself? Mm, I didn't. I don't know. Okay, I don't know what you heard. So that that word means a damnatory sentence. So if God in this is First Peter that says it, God chose us before the world to be holy and blameless, and we're holy and blameless because our account has been credited because of Christ. So that means that we're always at a hundred percent. But when I die, I have nothing on me. There's no stains on me. I'm pure and I'm clean. Because Jesus is my mediator and I had put my faith in him. So that's why it's kind of... Yeah, but did, did you live on him? Did you live? Did you do everything he said to do? Yeah, I would have to. How? How? Now, see, but that's the difference. Even if I don't, my righteousness doesn't decrease. No, no. See, no, you are less in burdens from yourself. No, no. Like, oh, Jesus is big enough to save me. No, bro. That's not how the Bible teaches. If Jesus says, I save you, whatever I, you do, he wouldn't say, he would say, love me and what, uh, do whatever you want to do. No, if you, if you love me, you do whatever. That means if you don't love me, you do whatever your selfishness will require you to do. But that that would mean that salvation has something to do with me, and that's not true. Salvation has zero percent on what I do; it's a hundred percent on who I put my faith in. So, do, do you say? Do you have to say to Jesus yes every day, or you can say some days no, some days yes? Even if I say no, that doesn't change my salvation. Jesus what? said. Jesus said that, yes, because when you're justified. Do you? I don't know if I don't know if you kind of looked this up, but if you look it up in the Greek, you understand the tenses. So something's an indicative. It's a once for all. Bro, I'm I'm not going to Greek. I'm butchered. I'm gonna butcher the Greek just like you. Yeah, uh, listen, so no, but listen, First can, Peter can, four. Can my statement. So once okay. when you're justified, God justifies you that once and for all. We're not have to be justified again. So it's once for all. So once you're once you repent, you're thrown into God's hand. So it doesn't matter if one day I fall, one day God Jesus said, pick up your cross, pick up my cross. So even if I fall that day, I'm going to repent. So you have to keep, you have to keep the curse only one day or for, for your life? There's never until, no curse. Until we pass away. There's never well, no curse well, because when God's looking at me, he sees Jesus. See, he doesn't see no. me because I'm in Christ. That's the biggest thing. You have to be brother, in Christ. Brother, so how does that differ is, from your understanding? This is how, how you're not saved if, you, if you're not in the church. Because, listen, First Peter 4 do, doesn't contradict the Bible. Verse 8. Above all, is on my PTR, above all, maintain constant love for one another. Maintain, he's speaking to the believers, above all, above everything, maintain constant love for one another. For love covers a multitude of sins. See, your sins are being counted, bro. You're, it, it, even if you repent it, but the love will, will, will cover a multitude of sins. This is what the Bible says, not me. So unless you say this one contradicts the other verse and you want to make the Bible contradicts, no, you have to harmonize the Bible from one verse to another. So does Jesus cover it's, our sins? The Bible is oh, one, 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 one like, like the apostles understood it from the Old Testament. To the New Testament, to, to the resurrection of Christ, that's how they understood it. 
the scriptures are changed after 1500 bro they were neutral before before 1500 this one we're talking all together and then when they were in council or a gathering bishops together they will say see they will take this in account okay your verse my verse but then they say look the bible doesn't contradict itself so you got this verse there this verse what it means it means and now is in catechism and in a catechism of catholic church is everything explained what the bible means so does jesus cover our sins or does love cover our sins jesus covers our our sins if we are in his love if we remain in him he says remain in him for the for the wicked branch or the bad branch will be cut off he not he's not speaking to an atheist because he's not a branch yet so if you're a branch that means you are in a vine and and the dry branch who doesn't bear fruit he will gonna be cut off he's talking to the believers bro but read that verse He's not again. talking to atheists. Read that verse again. Could you, didn't you just say that that verse proves that you have to love to cover your sins? Above all, 1 Peter 4, Peter is speaking, verse 8. Above all, maintain constant love for one another, for love covers a multitude of sins. Yes. So, so love, where did those sins come from if, if, if we're not harming Jesus with our sins? Those sins come from your actions, but love doesn't cover them. Love doesn't forgive you. Well, the, the, you, you're going against the Bible. Just very, literally what you said, you're going against the Bible. So that's what I'm, kind of, I'm trying to understand what you're saying. You're saying that if you love, that's going to forgive your sins? Yeah, it covers a multitude of sins. Can you go to First Peter 4, verse 8? So, and read it for yourself. You're so, I'm sorry, so you're saying that we don't need Jesus to cover those sins. We just need to love. You always want to take the burden from yourself. You want to put it in Jesus. That's, that's what I'm that's, saying. That's I'm, a cheap I'm, way to go. I'm just asking because I'm just taking the verse literally what you're saying. I would say, yeah, my, my, yeah. I guess my response is to that, say that you don't love the way God wants you to love until you're in Jesus. So when you're in Jesus, then you can love that way. And, and I, I wouldn't apply that verse to, um, I guess, to apply to any forgiveness of sins because it only it doesn't i don't i don't think it applies to that but so is is this verse speaking to the unbeliever no it's to the believer, to believer. it's was telling the believer you should be walking in love yeah you sh exactly that that's an order like if you love me f f follow what i uh, 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 do what i told you to do what i ordered you to do more literally so if uh, about if you don't if you are a christian and if you don't do what jesus d said so is that burden on Jesus or on you? It's on you, bro, because you have to follow Jesus everything he said. If you don't listen, if they don't listen to you, he told his disciples, if they do not listen to you, they don't listen to me. If they don't listen to me, they don't listen to my father in heaven. Yeah. And he told, he told the followers, if you were ashamed, to confess me in front of man, I'm going to be ashamed to confess you mm -hmm. in front of the angels and my father. Mm -hmm. But if you're proud of me, or I mean, if you confess me in, fr in front of other men, I'll confess your name in front of my father in heaven. He's talking to the believers. Yeah. So, the so if you don't do it, that means you're a fake Christian. That means mm -hmm. you fall from grace. Yeah. So th like you just said, if you don't do it, you're a fake Christian, so all real Christians would do it. Exactly. So we that that we call you you fall from grace. It's not it's not down to Jesus. It's down to you. When you remove your heart from from love and then you you fill your heart with hate, it's not Jesus. Jesus, uh, then then it contradicts the l l very love of God. God is gonna take somebody who hated him and then oh, I'll, I'll I'll forgive you. I'll just take you to heaven because you're a Christian. You you just by name a Christian. No, no, bro. Not a Christian, it's, but you believe in his son. That. You believe in his son. I'm going to take you to heaven because you believed in my son that fulfilled the, the, the righteous yeah, but do, law do you know that, what that word be, Do you know what that be, word believe is, bro? The word believe is not like, oh, just believe and that's it. And then, you know, no, man, it's, it's to do. I, I believe my wife lives. My wife exists. 
but I have to have a relationship with her to every day cook and clean and every day help her out work and stuff uh, and, and and then a good fruit will come from that relationship kids no, will come from that yeah, relationship that's, that's not what the Bible says the Bible says once God sees your faith is a relationship man is a so, love relationship I know what I'm saying why can't you get it because the Bible Sorry. says in Ephesians 2 8 that you can't produce those good works until you're in Christ so you are saved once you believe as Ephesians 1 13 and 14 it says once you yeah but not only once I'm saved every day I get up I, I make the sign of the cross I say God uh, come into my heart and lead me wherever whoever I see I preach your word and I I, I do I, I, I you stay by me and open my mouth and kindle my heart and, and and just lead me wherever you want me to do for you will be done not mine so yeah, you, yeah. you surrender to God every day not just one day well, so you may surrender is different than being justified justified is yeah, but once and no for that, that's part of justification because if you forget god and then you go to some other b bad road and then th that will co count it to you like you're not a christian a true christian wouldn't go to a different road that's that's the thing H how many christians are doing it but bert ehrman the atheist he was a pastor on christian what would you say he wasn't a christian yes, come on he, wasn't bro. Saved. he was a christian a hardcore he converted hardcore he he converted people to christianity he preached the gospel now he's a hardcore atheist yeah you can so in hebrews 10 it says that we don't turn back true christians don't turn back he turned back he wasn't a true christian it's that simple hebrews 10 what 10, 38 and 39. 37 to 39, actually, for the full context. For yet in a very little while, the one who is coming will come and will not delay. But my righteousness will live by faith. My soul takes no pleasure in anyone who shrinks back. But we are not among those who shrink back, and so are lost, but among those who have faith, and so are saved. See? So, so look, I repeat, verse 39, but we are not among those who shrink back. Mm -hmm. Do you know what shrink back means? Yeah, turn back. So they were in Christ and they turned back. No, you can never be in Christ and turn back. No, 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 no. This very verse it says, but you are not among those who shrink back, who go back and so are lost and then are lost. An atheist, it doesn't shrink back, does he? He does. An atheist is an... No. How worse can he be? Come on, bro. Someone that, Don't put that, words in the Bible, someone bro. Someone that claims to join it and shrinks back shows you that, that they was never among us. And James, was the first John 2 said it too. Well, if, if you were to say never, was never among if, us. that depends. We say they fell from grace. You say they were never. How do I know they were They were never true believers? Because we would not know. There was Only Jesus God knows. Hands. Yeah, you're right. You're right. No one never knows. But the ones that you know is the ones that abide to, the, that can abide. Like this verse is saying, we don't shrink back. So if someone doesn't shrink back. They are truly saved because they have that faith and they're preserving their souls. Yeah, and we say the one who lost it, they were not, they the, 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 lost because they got, like, uh, before you go to Jesus, Jesus even gave, gives you the parable of, of the seed where the, 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 the pleasures of, of the, the, the pleasures, the, 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 the seed is the word of God and you hear it and you receive it. But the, the pleasures and the corruption of the world takes over you. That means... You were a Christian once. You received it with heart and you weren't like in fire. Just like a Revelation, uh, I think it's Revelation 3, where it, where it talks about uh, lukewarm people and Jesus says, I, I wish you were cold or hot, but because you're lukewarm, I'll spit you out of my mouth. So people say, I'm a Christian, but then uh, like, okay, uh, like uh, condom is okay, uh, uh, abortion is okay. They look warm Christians, you know, uh, 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 like atheism is true religion and, and this, they, they, you know, so they look warm, you know, but I wish you were in fire or maybe you didn't know me at all, like, just like the, the, the atheist, but because you look warm, I will spit you out of my mouth, Jesus says. That's Jesus' word. 
I think it's Revelation 3 and the church to the third church. John is writing to. Yeah, I guess. So do you believe that someone can lose the Holy Spirit? They can lose their salvation. Because it says, the Bible says, once you're saved, you're sealed with the Holy Spirit. So that means that there will be people walking around with the Holy Spirit that aren't saved. Was, 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 uh, was Judas saved? No. How? Because the opportunity to be saved through Jesus wasn't available yet. So, and it was prophesied that he would turn, he would betray Jesus. So, that was but Jesus, prophesied. when Jesus, sorry, when Jesus breathed on them and sent them to go and heal and preach, and he made miracles in Jesus' name, and when he, and when they came back, all they denounced God and, and just, you know, obey the devil. And, and Job says, no, God, ta God gives, God takes. So, he, Job understood just like I understand. God gives, God takes, but, uh, it doesn't matter. But the, the, the devil, especially if you're a Christian, the devil will tempt you more because if, if you are anything but Christian, he doesn't need you. He's got where, wherever he wants you to be. So if you're a Christian, of course, you're going to be tempted by devil. Well, I would say you are saved once you believe. So once you're saved, you have your ticket to heaven. You're going there. God is coming back to get you. You're going there. That's it. Well, that's... That that's funny because I see I, I I hear people they they ask me are you a Christian yes are you baptized yes are you saved yes and uh, what well, are you Catholic oh you're not a Christian yeah I would say that too because um, disrespectfully I think there's like those additional teachings that it, it's kind of. No, it's not additional teaching, bro. It's not. Uh, that's why 